to reach you. So you take a copy. It has to do with uh, drafting and the rest. In this way, you send that one around. And you have another one here. Any excess, you give it back to me, please. Uh, this, this other one. On uh, Friday, we are going out of... Hopefully, they will get the two vehicles we have requested from the only. We will be out of Kumba to get to uh, neighborhood, which is about one hour, ten minutes drive from here, uh, to see a pig farm and to talk about pig production. And the vocabulary is here. I'm giving it now so that we should know all this in French before we get to that farm. I will be going there. I'm going to divide you people into four groups. And each group will have a theme. But you having a theme does not mean that you should not, cons uh, or should not uh, uh, think about what the other groups are doing. So you will participate in whatever question you are asking. The theme is for you to be able to ask questions around the subject that you have been given. And when the answers are being given, every other person is hearing. When you come back for a debriefing, you will have to present uh, in the different groups. So the vocabulary is here in French. Take one copy and give me back the bar. Okay, thank you, Doctor. Is that true? Yes. Okay. So we're going to go ahead with our course. Hey, one minute. Oh, sorry. Uh, the, pea, the, the chickens have a problem. Uh, I was suggesting that the last group and the, the group before the one that is on now and the, and the group that is on now. I've given uh, some uh, few guidelines to Erika and to Jose. And Jose has opted to be there with you to help you re-establish the situation. <laughs> and it is happening. We are just lucky. Otherwise, we could lose more than 50% of those chips. I gave 10 instructions that we should not throw water on the litter. But the place is thick with mud now because of the water that all of the different groups that have passed there have been throwing water on the litter. So parasites are developing there. And to, actually, when I'm waiting that when you finish re-establishing the situation, we'll have to start treating against... Uh, no, we will not spread because we will start treating against uh, the coccidiosis. That's the first thing. We did the vaccination two years today. Yeah. Was it yesterday? Yeah, uh... Yeah, yesterday. Yeah, Sunday. yesterday we. <laughs> so it was Erika and uh, yeah. Sarah. Uh, we were there to, to do the 14th day vaccination, mm -hmm. which is against Gomboro disease. Mm -hmm. I'm giving this information because if those people who are in that group, when you start drafting, you should walk quickly so that when you finish here, you can go to the chicken house before you go home. And Jose will be there with you to re-establish the situation. And please let us, subsequent groups, make sure before the water goes into the place where the chickens are, no drop of water should drop on it, mm -hmm. on, the, on, the, on the wood shavings. No drop of water on the wood shavings. Please, take it serious. Otherwise, as I'm saying, we are just lucky we would have lost about 50% of those chicks. Yes. So I, I, I saw that chickens knock over the water container one time. Is there a way to secure it so they don't do that with one of their chickens? They knock the water off. They knocked it over. Yes, that's also another reason. It's not yeah. only people taking the water onto the so is there a good So way if to you stop didn't them? fit it well, if you didn't fit the jar well onto its cover, it, the chickens are already getting deep. They can knock it off. Hmm. And it, I would think that it's not even the chickens that knocked it off now because their, their weight now does not permit them to do that. It was like a stampede. It yes. was like all the... Or baby, so, yes, there can be a stampede. If somebody passed by and made some noise, heavy hitting of the door, for instance, mm -hmm. if some children were there and then they met, <laughs> the chickens can have a stampede and then they can push the distance down. That is not a student. Mm -hmm. So please, let's take... Different precautions. I'm sorry for taking the Okay, Doctor, thank thanks very much. Yeah, okay. Okay. Thank you. So, you're going to see, let's refresh our memories again. Let's start from here. You will notice this is our rootstock, you know, you notice that. 
this our tape that our, this our graphing tape going around. This our uh, scion. You can see that our rooftop goes right up here. This diagram is trying to illustrate. This is already a grafted plant, and you notice that it's already uh, fully grafted, already bounded. But it's not the protection paper has not yet been put. When the protection paper is put, the configuration is quite different. You're going to see that when we'll be doing the actual grafting. Okay. Yeah. Everybody should turn to page 10. Yeah. And our hand out. You see the diagram that is there? You see our rootstock? You notice it's already, our tape is already, you know, it's already grafted and uh, ba uh, 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 bounded. You, know, you notice that? Okay. But not the protection paper is not yet there. So we're going to see that very soon. So this, this is the tape? No, no, this is your ball. This is your oh, sound. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, this is your sound. Oh, okay. And then you see this is the tape. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's the tape. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> then you go for that. There are other illustrations that are a bit more... Okay, we go to page uh, 12. Go to page 12 in your handout. Page 12, you, you go to... Diagram C. Yeah. See your side graph. Base of sound is cut. Weight with one side somewhat longer than the other. <coughs> slanting incision. This that's the most used uh, system of grafting. You do your slanting incision. That's the that's the system we're going to use here. But you easily catch it up. Yeah, there are other complicated forms. We won't go into those intricacies. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, there is one for plums. Yeah, we call that marketing. Yes, we do that marketing. <laughs> but I'll, I'll demonstrate it a little bit when there's a plum tree behind it in the I will show you when we go back to the nursery. Yeah. So now, we, we're going into our practical aspect of our course. We now, we're going to treat our scions. We allow them to drain out a bit. Then we bring out our root stocks. So that we dispose them and we share them among you people, amongst you people, each person has to grab, I think, minimum two, eh? Minimum. Yeah, minimum two. You can grab Are we okay? Two. You didn't bring your grafting knife this time. Last time they didn't just help us. They didn't help us. So they will, each, they will, will be three, there will be three groups. Yes. Each group will use one of uh, one of the knives. Mm -hmm. There will be three groups. But be very careful with yeah, the knife. They are very, very sharp objects. So I don't want any accident. Yes. They are very, very sharp objects. An so and uh, you have to take a lot of precautions. In any case, I will carry out certain demonstrations that you're going to see. I will carry out the demonstration, I think, over and over, about two, three, four times. Then you observe very keenly. And when you'll be doing, I'll also be coaching you. <laughs>